I, I do kind of need some help. <laughs> uh, oh no. Is this for real? <laughs> okay, that was a nice, nice little stop off. I actually ended up having the room to myself until very late. Today I'm going to be going into the mountains. So this morning I have prepared for that. As in I've done my tire pressures, I've um, I spent the morning like cleaning my chain so it's all clean again. Make sure the, the kill switch is working, the indicators, the headlamp. Yeah and it's all it's all looking fine so I'm happy to move on. What I'm using right now it's by a company called Krieger and they are very very good for motorcycles because what you can do with these is once you get it on properly you can stack them so you can get a 30 litre which is this one and you can get a 20 litre to put on top right now i'm traveling with 50 litres worth of luggage so yeah in here toiletries um makeup clothes and spare shoes in this one we've got like chain cleaner tire pressure reader a tire pump a puncture repair kit emergency cable repair and i have spare gloves in there so i have waterproof warm gloves for when I hit the mountains and it starts raining and I have my Rooker trousers in there too. In this one, my 10 litre, I have all of my kind of emergency need items like my purse, my passport, this is like my important documents folder. I have all my photocopies in here of uh, medical insurance, bike insurance, um, all of my charging equipment, my cameras and my GoPro, helmet cleaner which is what this towel is. Another good thing about these Kriegers is that you can buy this tank converter and convert it into a tank bag which is quite cool. Once you get it all on just tighten it up and then the next bag goes on top and the clips go into these ones here. Okay, so we left the hostel, we did the bike maintenance and now we're going into the mountains. Um, I did want to do the ace calf, but I don't know, I just don't feel like I have enough time. It's going to be raining um, from around 2pm uh, in the Splugen Pass, I think it's called, Splugen Pass. I want to get there before that <laughs> happens. Uh, as you can see as well, I put a GoPro in front of me. Uh, yeah, I put a GoPro in front of me, but I don't know what the footage is going to be like because it looks like it's quite um, shaky. <laughs> so we're just getting into the mountains and <laughs> I'm having to go really, really slow because I want to take in the view. Oh, wow. Oh, oh I want to go back and take a picture. Oh. That is stunning. <laughs> can't believe it. Move. Okay, fuck it. I want to take a picture here. I don't even think that I need to talk for you guys to enjoy this. Oh my god, we're going up to the snowy mountains. I am not prepared. <laughs> wow. Wow, where are we? Okay, I think we need to get some food here. Okay, let's get some food. I wonder if there's any veggie food around here. One hour later. Oh, this is stunning. This is so cool! So I just stopped off at a little coffee shop on the side of a road in a small village. A recommendation for this place at the top of the mountain, which we're going to now, called Goddard. Goddard? Goddard? Apparently it's the, the highest place that you can ride to. So he said it's going to be very cold, so I've layered up and I've put on a hoodie, because that's all I've brought really. But I'm, I'm pretty warm right now. Woo! Shit! So cool! We're almost at the top of Goddard's Pass. This is so cool. Wow. Look at those waterfalls in the mountains. I don't know if you can see them from here. So I just stopped to take a picture because this picture is just amazing. But what I didn't realise is that when I put the side stand down, 
I put it on on the side where I'm going downhill. So I don't know if I can actually lift this bike back up. I, I can't do it. <laughs> Shit. What do I do? <laughs> oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> fuck. Shit. Oh my god, no, no. Why is this happening? I put it too low and it's too heavy. I, I do kind of need some help. Do I ask those people? Do I ask normal people in cars? I'm waiting for a biker to come up this way so they can just pull in here <laughs> and like push me so I can be on my way. Is this for real? So what I mean when I say I'm stuck is that <laughs> I didn't realize how much of an angle this bike was at when I put it down to the point where I thought I was about to drop it. And now I can't get it back up because I don't have enough power in my leg to lift the entire bike and the bikes. Eventually. <laughs> Can you help me lift it? <laughs> Do you speak English? No. <laughs> I didn't realize how steep it was and I can't lift it up. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't, um, I can't lift. It's too heavy for me to get the bike. <sighs> oh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've been here for about 20 minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> what a disaster. Okay, we're almost at the top and I'm feeling pretty chilly. I should have put my rocket trousers on really instead of my summer jeans. <laughs> These roads are wicked by the way. They're so cool. I feel like I'm in eyes and God. My ears have popped. Man, <laughs> it is so chilly up here. I mean, I am right by huge mountains with snow on top of them but oh it's so cold <laughs> oh. okay this time when we put the side stone down we're gonna make sure we can get it back up again yeah that feels right <laughs> when i put it down last time i was like oh 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 i'm gonna drop the bike oh <laughs> but it was okay wow look at this my ears have completely popped i feel like i'm in an airplane oh my leg <laughs> Let's test how cold the water is. Oh, it's not actually too bad. It's quite nice. Oh shit, it's quite cold, but it's quite nice. It's refreshing. <laughs> Wow, look at that snow. This is obviously the last snow of the season, but it's still, it's still there. It's still that cold. <laughs> and I've also seen that there's a mist coming in, which is probably gonna be really cold. It looks like the snow is sculpted to look that way. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. How do you get down there? Wow. Whoa, so cool! Also, my hands are nice and warm thanks to my Oxford heated grips. <laughs> it's my luxury item of the trip. Oh, this is so cool! I'm right at the top. Oh, fuck yeah, I want to go in this place. I think I've stopped at every single lay-by. <laughs> oh my god. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm feeling very emotional right now. Okay, we're heading back to Brunen. Um, it got really, really cold in the mountains with the mist coming in. I had to change into my rocket trousers. It got that cold. <laughs> Closing all the vents on my helmet because it's fucking freezing. Whoa. 
Look at that mountain mist. When I stopped in the cafe that I just stopped at, I don't think I took any pictures actually, or videos, but I just stopped in a, in a cafe on a lay-by and I met this girl who was um, cycling from the very top of Norway and she was here <laughs> and her journey is carrying on as well. Like this isn't the end of her journey, which is uh, pretty insane. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, she cycled all the way to Switzerland from, from Norway, which I find unbelievable. Oh, I should have really put my clear visor on. Oh my God. Okay, we're going really slow. I can't see a thing. This is quite scary. <laughs> oh my God, this is like the movie The Mist. This is actually really scary. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Okay, we're just gonna take it really slow. Really slow. I don't know how this is gonna look on the GoPro, but I can just about see two meters ahead of me. And it's raining. And it's raining. Look at that. Look at that. That is a blanket of white. You can't see a single thing out there. I really should have changed my clear visor. I'm an idiot. Feels like I'm being stabbed in the eye with a hundred needles when I open my visor. Twisty, twisty. Knee down. <laughs> Only joking. Definitely not a knee down moment. really make you get low. I thought that was a hairpin, I was going to turn a lot more than I needed to. 